Nicholas Stern now says that he got it wrong on climate change. In fact, he states it's far, far worse. And here's the author of the 206 review that was presented to governments and basically what they modelled their carbon pricing on and their carbon limits and benchmarks. And so it's interesting that this article that was published in The Guardian on the 26th of January 2013 is now moving to continue and perpetuate the myth that the changes we are experiencing across our planet are man-made. Look, I'm not saying that we are doing Mother Earth any favours. Uh, we are basically doing our best to destroy and poison her. However, what is happening around the planet is not man-made. And I know that people find that very hard to accept. A lot of people feel more comfortable believing that everything happening around our planet is man-made. It gives them a sense of security. They don't like to think that what's going on is out of our control. But that's exactly what the truth is. Scientists and government agencies have no idea of what is going on around our planet. And all of their modelling so far has been totally flawed because the changes taking place in regards to weather and climate around our planet are increasing so quickly that they can't really even keep up. And obviously it's getting very hard for them to hide all of these very severe weather events. I mean, we at the moment in Queensland, Australia are experiencing tornadoes. We have never had tornadoes in Bundaberg and these other towns that have basically just experienced them and the destruction that they cause. You know, we get the occasional water spout and the occasional twister or, uh, you know, tornado in a storm cell, but we never get tornado warnings from our weather bureau. And we are still seeing these tornado warnings in effect today, as well as massive flooding. They're saying that in some places there was a metre of rain. I mean, that's unprecedented. This is not to mention all of the other countries that are currently experiencing very severe weather. And this is exactly what the government agencies do not want. The herd starting to lose control and move into fear. And so what they do is continue to perpetuate the myth that we're causing these changes. And so even though the herd are fearful and still have to try and survive these events, somehow it makes them feel better if they believe that we created them in the first place. Because the last thing human beings that are very unconscious want to believe is that we have no control over what's going on around our planet. And seriously, I think that's one of the biggest challenges I see within people who are in fear, and that is that they cannot accept that they do not have full control of everything on this planet at the moment. And we are losing control daily, and so are the power elite, and they know it. And this is why they have to regurgitate this type of crap and bring out these puppets like this idiot, Lord Stern, who now says that, oh, he got it wrong. In fact, it was more, you know, you know, worse than he actually made out at the time and he was, you know, sorry that he wasn't more blunt about it and he wasn't more strong in his wording and that, yeah, actually climate change was a lot worse than he had previously stated. You know, really, are we, are we still going to continue to fall for the same bullshit? You know, because seriously, you know, we're supposed to be evolving and expanding consciously. So it's time to now realise that uh, what's going on around our planet is only going to increase. Seriously, that polar vortex that just split about three weeks ago or two weeks ago, that's causing major issues with our climate and weather patterns all over the globe. That's just one factor. Not to mention all of the volcanic 
activity that has just recently increased. You know, we really need to start paying attention and forget about watching the lamestream media or expecting them to tell you exactly what's going on because none of this information ever makes it to the lamestream news at six o'clock at night when you're sitting down watching television. You know, seriously, I would basically just ignore your news on television because all you're getting is programming. They're just shaping your opinion and they're shaping your belief system and they're programming you into believing one thing. And this is why a lot of people come onto my videos and attack me because this information is something that people do not want to hear. They want to hear that climate change is real and all we have to do is pay a little bit of extra money and it's all going to be solved. I mean, that's how stupid some people are. They actually believe a tax is going to fix this planet and what we're doing to this planet and somehow make this planet healthier. You know, this is just how brainwashed the herd is, that they would even believe that crap. Anyway, guys, really interesting that we see Nicholas Stern coming out and saying this. I think that this is pretty much because we are going to start seeing these weather events really intensify. So I know I've said it before and I'm going to continue saying this. Prepare. Go and get some food supplies. Go and seek out uh, water sources, fresh water or some type of tool like the life straw that you can get fresh water. That is your priority would be water and then food. But if you do not start making steps to prepare yourself for what's coming, you may as well have just continued listening to Fox News. Because seriously, why bother? Why bother searching out information if you aren't going to act on it? Anyway, guys, I will post the article underneath the video. And as always, peace out.